Hey guys, welcome to the show. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to get your games on this Android TV running smoother. No longer will it stutter, no longer will it run slow, and you'll even get it working on a gamepad. Oh! TV is like five times slower. One thing I do want to try is how it handles an external keyboard and mouse. So I've got a USB one and I'll see if it works. This is the back. Your power cord goes in there and on the other side is where all your connections go. So we got like USB, you got ooh, digital audio, you got headphone jack, you got video in, you got HDMIs and you got the ethernet port, LAN. I want to be using that instead of Wi-Fi, and then you have remotes. And finally is the cable antenna. So I'm going to be trying out my USB keyboard and seeing if that works. Do, oh, look at that. You actually get a mouse. You can use the mouse. Look, I'm clicking. I just clicked on Netflix. It's a bit slow. Escape, what does that do? Escape is like the back button. Oh, you can use the keyboard. That is really cool. I wonder if you can use an Xbox controller. And I'm going to... Do Bluetooth pairing. It's flashing. I'll just click on the settings button here and select Bluetooth and add device. And let's see if it detects this Xbox controller. Okay, Xbox wireless controller pairing. Oh, look at that. Yo, you can use an Xbox controller on this Android TV. Yo, I need to get some games. That is pretty sick. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh it's stalled. Ah, it's problem with Android, it's so choppy. It literally stalled. No. All right, it was an okay experience. I gotta say, I don't like the choppiness. Yeah, it's a bit choppy. It stutters every now and then. All right, this experience is pretty poor. Literally every five seconds there is a stutter. Let's see if we can fix that with developer options. So I'll go into settings. Device preferences, about, and then you go to the build and you just need to click that several times until it says you are now a developer. When you're a developer, you get a new option right in the middle called developer options. And there you can now sideload apps, you can use this as a debugging tool and you can, you can change the background process limit which limits the amount of applications which can run in the background. So if you have too many apps running at the same time, it could slow down your experience. I'm going to make no background processes. So now all the performance is going to be limited to the application that's running on the screen. And let's see how that does. Apps, same game. And look at that, I'm playing and there's no stutters in sight. So if you do want to play games on this TV, I'd probably just limit the number of background processes. Maybe you can have one or two. I've set it to none and that seems to be working really good. No stutters. Before, remember it was getting choppy every five seconds. Now I'm playing the game fully and it's, it's operational. We'll try out Crossy Road. That also had stuttering issues. Look at that, no stutters. I've made it a good, good portion on the screen. Oh no, it's getting tricky. Oh, but yeah. TV is not stuttering. That's right, this Sony's television, television, it's got a three times faster processor than the last model. Three times faster than 2017 model. But did you know that it's actually 10 times slower than the latest iPhone? TV is like five times slower. It's pretty horrendous for gaming. So overall, on the Bravia, we got 1,044. And on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2019 phone, I got 3,836. So this phone, this mobile processor, 
battery operated is four times more powerful than this TV. Why did they skimp out on the processor? I don't get it. Even the most expensive Sony TV, you get the same processor. I'm surprised this game runs. In order to make it run fast, you need to unlock developer options and you need to limit background processes. So other applications don't hog the resources in the background. As you can see this at the moment, it's running a bit choppy every now and then. However, with unlocked developer preferences, you can get it all that 1000 of 3D Mark's performance into the game. So hope you found this amazing video useful. Let me know what other tips you guys use to make Android TVs faster. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. TV is like five times slower. <laughs>